Hi, everyone. I'm back here with David. David, thanks for being here. Thanks, Steve. All right. So uh, we're going to talk about exercise as people get older. And we're not diminishing the fact that it's important for young people to exercise and continue to exercise as they age to maximize their health. But I'll just say that David is at our uh, um, studio in Carson City at Fitness for 10. And so if you guys are near near here or anywhere, uh, most of our listeners, I don't think are in the area. But if you are, go say hi to him. He's a personal trainer there at Carson City uh, Fitness for 10. So David, I know that you have a lot of clients that are older and just give us your initial thoughts about um, it, it. For one, it's amazing the results that someone who is older can get, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Steve. Um, you know, everybody has their own uh, reasons for joining a gym and things like that. And some of my older clients, you know, there's uh, various reasons, whether it's health reasons or, you know, maybe they were athletic at one point and kind of became um, very kind of stationary, whether it's, uh, you know, retired and whatnot and kind of being less active now. And now they're trying to get back into it, whatever the case might be. But there's quite a few people that I have just as my own clients um, that are that are older and, you know, come in here for different reasons and the results that they can get just by really you know, increasing that activity is, is tremendous. Yeah. And I'm doing a little series on people in the gym that are inspirational, that inspire us. Um, and there's a lot of people that are older in their seventies, eighties, and, you know, they struggle to walk in a fluid manner. Um, and I'm sure you have some of these clients, their flexibility, you know, they've let it go, but it's never too late to reverse the way that you feel. And I see these people a year, two years, I see the progress that they make and they feel much better. So um, tell us a little bit about how you start with someone who comes in and maybe they've just, they're injured or they just said, you know what, I've, I've been treating my body I've been abusing my body for 30 years and now it's time to stop and reverse that. How do you start with someone? Yeah. So uh, similar to, um, you know, a lot of my other clients, you know, we start through going over, you know, any kind of health issues, any kind of goals that they have, what brings them into the gym in the first place? You know, why, why are you here? What are you looking to get out of it? But then as, you know, we go through those types of questions, nutrition's really important, those types of things. When I actually take them out onto the floor of the gym, you know, introduce them to a lot of times stability exercises. We want to take a look at that balance because as we get older, all of us, um, you know, we have issues unless we're constantly really working on these things with balance. And balance is a very great thing to have. But if you don't have very good balance or, you know, stability in a lot of situations, that can be also dangerous for older people. I have my oldest client right now is 87 years old. Um, balance has become an issue in the last couple of years She just kind of realized that, hey, I don't have as good a balance as I used to. And that's how it happens a lot is one day you just kind of realize, hey, this body part doesn't seem to work as well, or this balance seems to be off all of a sudden. And so now you're going, well, how do I address that? So when I, you know, meet with clients for the first time, or even once they're, you know, continuously coming to me, it's really tracking that progress a lot. But we, we work with them in terms of, for instance, again, I put balance and stability up there a lot and mobility is a huge thing. So I work a lot on that constantly with them every single time they're in here, because when we get older, it takes longer as well in order to kind of return that that stability function to, you know, a better place to where they're going to be safer going downstairs, going upstairs, um, you know, standing in general um, and be less prone to falls and things like that. So I really want to get you know, those muscles moving, those stabilizers going, because that's going to help them in real life and, you know, help them be stronger, but also be more balanced. So, um, you know, I have a client similar age um, as the one I just mentioned who couldn't walk upstairs barely when she first started here. I think it was two years ago uh, before I was even here, but she's worked with our trainers here, um, 
she's now my client, and so she can walk up the stairs, not fast, but she couldn't walk up them at all when she first started here. So that's huge for somebody in their 80s who couldn't even do it, you know, two years ago, is able to walk up the stairs, is able to do different things up there with me. Um, so those types of things are really, really important that we take for granted, you know, every day that I can go walk upstairs. I could go run upstairs right now if I wanted to. But for those who can't do those things or can't do other things, and then they're able to start doing them, that's a huge change in their life. And, you know, a lot of people, I, we, there's a lot of discussion on the channel and on my different social media outlets about, for instance, deadlifts. And, you know, this is, I get a lot of mixed opinions about this. Advanced lifters, a lot of people say, you know, just don't do deadlifts. There's a lot of other things you can do, which is true. You can strengthen those muscles the same way. You can do a lot of things that are similar, but I like deadlifts and I'm an advocate. And if you do them right, you teach somebody to have the right technique and so on. You can do deadlifts into your 70s, 80s, however, however old you are. Um, so I'm a huge advocate of doing it. Now, do you just want to go grab the bar and start doing dead? No, you need to be trained properly. You're laughing. Right. I see you want to, and you want to make, sh get your technique down because otherwise, yes, you can get injured. A young yeah. person doing deadlifts, a 20 year old can easily get injured doing deadlifts if they're not doing it right, but you can get injured doing squats and in the other lift too. But there's a woman in there. Um, you might know who I'm talking about. She's in her seventies and she can squat 275. Oh yeah. 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 And I'm like, wow, I, um, I'm not going to do that. You know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to put that much weight on the bar, but she does. And it's, you know, she's doing deadlifts. She's doing all this stuff and I, she's in her, what her mid seventies, I think oh, yeah. she's a beast. And she's strong and she feels good. And uh, it, I, it just takes longer, right? It just takes longer to progress and to get from here, from point A to point B. But you can do it at almost any age, right? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's one thing, Steve, that people, you know, as they get older, they, they kind of don't think that they can do it or, you know, it's going to take too long or, you know, different things. Similar thoughts that people of my age have or even younger people it's going to take too long. There's too much involved, all these other things. Right. But yeah, at any age, whether you're 60, 70, 80, 20, you know, you know, 20, yeah, you're going to be able to build that muscle super fast and all these other things when you're 70, maybe not as much, but those same exercises are going to work just as well for you. It just takes more time to progress. And because of, you know, the age, you're going to want to make sure you go a little bit slower, you know, in terms of, you know, increasing weights and things like that to be safe, but you're still going to be able to do it. You know, um, you make a good point as far as, you know, having the right form and, and all those things, the lady you're talking about, yeah, it's super strong. And she's here like three or four days a week, sometimes for two hours doing like a power <laughs> lifting session. I don't even work out that long, you know, for two hours. So, you know, she's super impressive. She's one of those people that impresses me when she comes in here and she, sometimes she's in here twice a day, you know, cardio and everything else. So, to me, you know, there's a lot of excuses that people could have, you know, doubts and fears that people could have. But once they come in here and they get with one of the trainers, whether it's me or, you know, any of our other trainers, work with somebody that knows, you know, where to start. Because if you're coming in here and you're, you know, uh, an older adult, you're going to not probably know where to start. Or maybe you're just too afraid to maybe injure yourself. And so it's like, I want to stay away from any of that because... I don't want to injure myself. Well, you're actually going to be more likely to probably injure yourself if you don't come in and start doing something to increase your health, increase your strength. You know, as we age, that's even more important. Yeah. And this lady we're talking about, she's, she's very sweet and fun to be around. And I, I tease her before I'm like, going, what kind of, what kind of gear are you on? <laughs> you know, and she's like, what? You know, steroid cycle, what kind of tell me about your cycle. She just goes, I haven't been on a cycle for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> so she's funny, too. <laughs> she absolutely is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess um, it, 
I think a, a mistake people make is with their mindset and that when they have that mindset, well, this is just what happens when you get old. No, it doesn't have to accelerate that fast. It's, it, it, it can be prevented. Look, everyone's going to get old and die sooner or later. We all know that. But you'd be amazed at the, how you can keep the quality of life into your 90s or however long you live. You can keep that quality of life. You can keep that flexibility. You can feel good. You can have energy. You really can. Um, and exercise is a big part of it. But I think a big mistake people make is that they they have this attitude. Well, I just have to accept it. You know, I'm that's what happens when you get older. You know, I have to take a bunch of medications and I have to walk with a cane or blah, 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 whatever. And you don't have to accept that, do you? No, no. I, I had a client who's in his mid seventies and we trained together for a couple of different months. He came in here, he was overweight. He had, you know, a, a problem with his leg that he's had for a while. He's been in here. I just saw him in here the other day. He's lost 35 pounds since we started working together. And even since we stopped, he's still coming in doing the different exercises that we worked on a lot, especially for the legs. He's able to, you know, lift the leg higher before he couldn't even lift one of one of the feet he couldn't lift it onto a stair by the time we were done he was lifting both legs onto the stair so like the increased mobility you know the weight loss that also of course helps if you are overweight you know losing a little bit of that weight will help you know people have come down or come off with their blood pressure medication and things like that you know obviously in consultation with their doctor but because they see see that change they feel better and their blood pressure is not as out of whack or their diabetes is better you know or gone you know, because they're, they're up, they're active, they're doing these things that for 20 years or more, sometimes they haven't been doing anything or very little. So, you know, let's see, I'm getting old and this is just how it is. When in reality, that's, that's not how it has to be. You can absolutely change. You don't have to be in here six, seven days a week. Like me, you can be in here two days a week, three days, you know, whatever it is to start and just come in here and just get yourself moving. And that's the most important piece. Yeah. And you can get a trainer and learn things and then you can do it at home, you know, so exactly. um, it can be done. I just want to encourage everybody to, to try, you know, don't give up. And I think a lot of people that, uh, that we're talking about here, they're in there because their doctor told them they had to, right? You get that. My doctor mm -hmm. told me I got to come do this or somebody did told them their, you know, their physical therapist or their doctor or their somebody you know, their kids told them you have to, so they're there, right? You get a lot of that, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, David, as always, thanks for your input. If you guys have questions, comments, uh, if you can relate to this, if you have testimonies about uh, ways that you've improved your health or your lifestyle, we'd love to hear about them. Put them in the comment section and uh, questions also. So thanks for being with us, David. Thank you, Steve.